Hello, welcome. We're on our third problem for trends in categorical data. And in the last problem, we dealt with this situation right here. And now we have this problem. So pause the video, try it out, and then press play and we'll solve it together. Okay, so you can actually get away with a lot of, a lot of stuff in this problem in terms of not reading this right here unless you're totally confused about the problem. So it's my experience I can often skip this part right here. It feels a bit wordy to me, although sometimes the way they word it is, is not long just for fun. They're trying to be precise and, and give you hints here. Um, so you can read it, but I, I actually encourage you just to jump right to the problem because in all of these problems, you're given a, some kind of frequency table here with percents, and then you have to use that information to fill out the table above it. So. There's a lot of ways to solve these. Uh, I just what I did was I said, okay, so if I look here, let's think about north, south, and Monday through Thursday. So we want I want to be able to fill this in right here. And what I notice is that it says 77.7 percent .7 of this row um, ends up in this spot. So that's 77.7 percent .7 of that row total, 148. Right. In other words, if I want to know what goes here, I can just ignore the context for a moment. It's got to be 77%. This tells you the row percentage and the column percentage and the total percentage. So the row percentage means that if I take 0 0.777 and multiply it by, this is a 7, these are all 7s, sorry, by the total in that row, which is 148, I would get the number that goes here. And in this case, if you multiply those two, two look what happens. You do 0.777 times 148, and you get 114.996. Now, usually there's some indication of, of rounding. Now here, I don't see an indication of rounding. And in fact, in many of these problems, I don't. So look at the table to see how they rounded, and then round accordingly. So I see all whole number passengers here. So I'm going to round this to 115. So 115. Now, I could have used my column percentage, 84.56, of this number. right? The row refers to this number. The column refers to this number here. So you could have done, this is getting sloppy now, sorry. But you could have done 84, so 0 0.8456 times the column, which is 136. right? So here, let's see what happens. You get 0.8456. 8456 times 136 and you get 115 now it's a little bit over because of the rounding but it's still close to 115 and then yes this is exciting boom we could have also used the total percentage in this case which is 48.73 so I could have written let's figure it out over here now 0 0.4873 times the total which is 236 and no surprise here, we're going to get close to 115. So let's just see what it looks like. 0.4873 times the total now, 236. And you get 115. Now the numbers are all slightly different because of the way this table has been rounded in terms of its columns and rows. Uh, but the idea is that you can use these percentages to fill all of this stuff out. So the next one, let's just keep going with the row. We take 22.3%, so here. 0 0.223 times 148, right? And that's going to give us 33 there. And you, you're going to be rounding in most cases. Now, you could do the calculations here, but, but and I didn't need to do that calculation there, by the way, um, because what I could have done is say, well, it's got to add to 148 in total, and 148 minus 115 is 33. And the same can be now applied in these columns. To fill out this box right here, I can just do 136, the, the total of the column, minus 115. And here we can do 100 minus 33, which is 67. And then here, what is that? That's going to be 15, 21, right? So this is the general approach to the problem. Now, they also ask you to find x. They want to know the row percentage of this number. In other words, what percent is 21 out of 88? That's what they're asking you to find, is the row percentage for that number. I felt compelled to go around my data here. 21 over 88. And 
I rounded that to the nearest hundredth because all of these decimals seem to be rounded that way. So it's 23.86, and that's the number that goes here, 23.86. I don't believe I have to do the percent signs uh, in these problems. All right, so I hope this helps.